Okay, so once you are going, logged into your computer, start by going ahead and opening a Google Chrome tab and signing into your Google Chrome and Gmail account. Okay. And go ahead and minimize that one for now. If you want to make a new Google Chrome box, you can do that. So you have a separate file, separate window. And then now you go ahead and go to glugster.com Glogster.com. Since most of you are going to be new to this based on what you told me before, you're going to sign up for an account. If you haven't already, you can go ahead and hit login and get started from here and skip the next minute or so. Hit sign up. Make sure you scroll down. Free version. That's what you want. And here, for most of you, you're going to click in with the sign in with Google tab. It'll be a lot easier than trying to do the full login. And mine just pops up because I've been here before. If you're brand new, what happens is that you'll actually be asked to just verify a new nickname for Glogster. And then you'll have to just clarify where you are. Uh, United States, Minnesota, Burnsville, and Metcalf. And you're good to go. So once you're in, you're going to click on Create a New Glog. If you want a plain one, you can just click the vertical. If you want to do something that has a template there, you can choose that. And there's more you can choose from here. But for now, that's enough. Click on creating a vertical one, and it pops up, and you're good to go. That's how you get started. It takes a little bit of time, not much, and you can go ahead and delete these items if you don't want that and have a blank page. If you want to take a template that's already started, you can do that too. Oh yeah, when this box come up, comes up, Okay, you can either allow or deny, it's up to you. So that's that part. I'll come right back in a moment and we'll take a look at the example I have for you for an actual personal symbolism Glogster. So here's my Glogster. There's some things that I can notice when I changed yesterday, I got some problems. So I would need to go back and fix things where it says like post to yourself and I added some pieces and there's some elements on there where it doesn't look quite right. That's part of the idea of it. You can go ahead and edit and change things. In the Glogster itself, make sure you have your own name in there figured prominently. How you do that is it's up to you. You have the criteria on the handout for the number of things you have to include. The key is this has to be about you. It's personal. It's unique. Let it be unique. Don't worry about having to find every answer and everything you want to say on the internet. So for example, red and black are really important colors to me because of my Showtime experience, which I talked about a little bit in class. Because this is a digital poster, this might be otherwise somewhat chaotic. Things are kind of randomly placed around. I create a little bit of organization by having the four parts of my name, the three names I was given at birth and the one I added when I got married, in the four corners of this particular assignment. So I have a picture of a crown for the name Stephen, and I have a little scroll box here. It says for the Greek name, Stephanos meaning crown, and there's more information that follows. For Daniel, I put the text right on top of an image of a lion. For Royce, I have a scrolling text here as well that I found. And I created my own image by having one, one part of it. Since there's two parts to the meaning of the word Royce, I had to put those two parts together. A picture of a cobbler, someone who's making shoes, and put a rose on his lap. Could I go back and make that a cleaner version of a rose where it's just that, and it's maybe Photoshop it to get rid of the extra space? Maybe a bad idea. For Orth, I have some text here, and that is just a screen capture of a Google Map or MapQuest shot with an X I put on there to indicate in that little tiny writing there. That's the little hamlet of Orth in the city, in the country of Germany. Excuse me. All the things on here are just things that are important to me. We have tigers. This is a particular tiger for me. I thought it was a cute, funny picture of a tiger compared to most common ones you see, because I was born according to the Chinese zodiac in the year of the tiger. My birth is Memorial Day. May 30th, 1974, and Memorial Day is actually celebrated on the last Monday of May, but technically it's May 30th every year. That's the official holiday. So for me, I wanted the picture to represent that and the fact that it means more to me. It means something about how I feel about my country and those who've died protecting it. Pretty common knowledge that Star Wars is pretty important to me, and so I put an image on there which kind of represents that and is saying this is part of what matters to me. This is a poster. Things are clipped on. Not everything's going to be spelled out. Travel is important to me, so I got pictures of my wife and my family. 
I had different trips. So I, um, I'm a new friend and I was at a, a luau in, in Hawaii. My family and I in Arizona. My wife and I on a trip in Europe in front of the Colosseum in Rome. And of course, wouldn't be complete talking about me if I didn't have things like the drama experience added with the frame on there. And on the four corners of that, I have images that represent stuff that's important to me and is meaningful for its own ways. Even little parts like talking about my favorite color. My favorite color is purple. For those folks who know me from drama, there's kind of an inside joke with, you know, purple is made by blue and red mixed together, or blue and pink mixed together. The key with the Glogster is you do things on them that are they're important to you. Don't make this only about things you find on the internet. It's a poster. Don't make it more complicated than that. The new Glogster has ways to make things very easy and worthwhile. I'll be back in class tomorrow to help you figure out how to do things. But make sure for now you start by saying, okay, I get the idea of it, and read the email over again for what your steps are once you view this email. Good hunting.